It's now my pleasure to introduce one of America's cleverest and most perceptive humorists, Mort Saab. What's that blackboard for? Gene, I thought we'd have a little uh, illustrated discussion about politics tonight. Well, what do I know about politics? I'm an actor. <laughs> you don't know it, but that statement just won you the nomination as the next governor of California. <laughs> okay. Now, as you all know, uh, politics is supposed to be divided up into two groups, the left and the right. I'm going to show you how to use a chart tonight based on uh, psychometrics, semantics, and calculus so that you'll be able to classify anybody in the world politically. Now, I did all the math, so I'll show you how this works. They ain't play this game with your date on the way out of the theater. Uh, <laughs> we like to bring people together. Uh, now, the chart goes like this. It has two categories. Up here, we have the left wing. You can uh, shudder if you'd like. The left wing is made up of the Communist Party, which has a membership, I'm sorry to say, of 4,000, 3,000 of whom are FBI agents. Right? <laughs> Over here, we have the right wing, which is made up of various people. Uh, John Birch Society, capitalism, fascism, and finally, greed, if we can work it out. That's over here. Now, the question is, where is everybody? Because that's certainly not any of us. Most people are in the, <laughs> they're in the middle because uh, you lose your job if you stay here, and you have to go to too many meetings if you belong to this. <laughs> so most people are here. And most people are in the middle. They're middle of the road people. Uh, in Europe, they're called social democrats in German elections. So we'll call them social democrats. And, uh, now, in these groups, there are also people who are left of others and right of others. So we'll fractionate this, if we may, here. And uh, we got a lot of chalk, a lot of interest. Not much time, but that's all right. Here's the left wing, middle of the road of the left wing, and the right wing of the left wing. Got that? All right. <laughs> over here, we have the left wing Social Democrats, middle of the road, and the right wing of the Social Democrats. And of course, over here, we have the right wing of the right wing, middle of the road, and the left wing, oddly enough, of the right wing. Now, this may confuse you. Most people, of course, are here. They got out of college and uh, they got worried. So and they get married and they uh, move into the valley and they gain weight and the hair falls out and everything. And they have minority group members where they're maids and they talk to them while they're sweeping because they're guilty. <laughs> they watch David Susskind and if you argue with them about politics, they say, uh, well, even the New York Times feels this way. And they uh, have a uh, Mustang, think it's a sports car. They're all in here, right? That's it. Uh, so those are those people. Now I'll show you how these people break down. Now take an issue like the Vietnamese conflict, and I'll show you how it works. Starting on the left here. The left wing, left wing position is the Americans must get out. I don't care about any unilateral. They must get out. That's that position. That would be here. Middle of the road communist position is they don't have to get out, but they should stop bombing the north. That's their position. The right wing, left wing position is they should stop bombing and they should start getting out and we should open up the area to trade because their money's as good as anyone else's. <laughs> this position is, I don't like them either, but I mean, my goodness, you know. Uh, this position is, we've, uh, I don't know, we got so many men in Vietnam, what if uh, the communists should strike somewhere else? I mean, I, I hope McNamara knows what he's doing, that's all. <laughs> now, the right wing social democrats, which is where most everybody in America is, say, the war is a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. That's their <laughs> now, when you move into the right wing here, the left wing of the right wing says the war is a dirty job, and fortunately, we got to do it. It's a little different, a little jump here. <laughs> Middle of the road here of the right wing says, why don't we escalate? Bombing the north, let's bomb Peking. <laughs> and this group, of course, says, let's bomb them on Sunday. <laughs> So in other words, what we have here is Ho Chi Minh is a left-wing left-winger. Um, Fidel Castro, middle of the road, the left-wing. Sister works the CIA. <laughs> Loses points as a left-winger. Kosygin in Russia is a right-wing left-winger. Left-wing Social Democrats, we don't have any. Middle of the road Social Democrats would be uh, Wayne Morse, Martin Luther King. Most Negro leaders are middle of the road Social Democrats till they get their rights, then they become right-wing Social Democrats. <laughs> Almost everybody is a right-wing social democrat. That would be uh, Eisenhower, Romney, Rockefeller, Javits, uh, Kekel, former Governor Brown, and uh, Frank Sinatra, Kim Novak, <laughs> Jack Jones, goes on now, Huntley and Brinkley, they're here, Peter Jennings. Uh, <laughs> left wing of the right wing, uh, Arthur Goldberg would be here. And uh, 
he would be the middle of the road of the right wing uh, would be uh, the president, uh, Humphrey, and uh, Nixon. They all have the same position on the war. <laughs> and Marshall Key and some other people are here. Now, Humphrey is an interesting case because Humphrey has five positions. He's in the middle of the road of the right about the war, but the president doesn't know it. <laughs> the president took Humphrey because he thinks Humphrey is a right-wing social democrat. Mrs. Humphrey thinks that Humphrey's a left-wing son. <laughs> Robert Humphrey, his son, thinks that his father is a left-wing social democrat who misses Minnesota 30 years ago when he could have been over here. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's content to be here. Now, Robert Kennedy started off working uh, for Senator McCarthy and was here. Then he became interested in civil rights, working for his brother, and he moved over here. Then he's over here most of the time until occasionally he'll make a speech and he moves over here. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> for the next year, Robert Kennedy has no real position. He's kind of in a holding pattern up here. So <laughs> that's really his position. Now, you can use the chart a lot of other ways. We don't have time tonight, but for instance, you could use it to classify people romantically. Not men, because men approach women like a sports program, but you think, <laughs> girls, in other words, a girl who'd kiss anybody on the first date would be a left-winger romantically, and a girl who insisted on kissing them on the second date and uh, building toward a marriage in the suburbs would be a right-wing social democrat. If she tried to rehabilitate guys and then kiss them on the third date, she'd be a left-wing social democrat. If she just wouldn't let anybody kiss her on any date, she'd be a right-winger romantically. You know, she might go out with a guy for a while, then he'd get bored, and another guy would move in. She'd say, goodbye, Tom, but I can't compromise and kiss you goodnight. It's the 13th date. Later on, guys would try to kiss her because she still looks good and mislead you that way. And she'd say, no, please don't touch me. I just came out of a great relationship, and no one can share what I had with Tom, including Tom. If you want to <laughs>